how are you? And I thought today I would leave the last few week or so behind us and we'd do something that would be a bit more inclusive, where the majority of us can carry on without having all this arguing, at least not for another day or so. I love doing videos uh, about the BMP because they have the least creative, insanely dense followers, believe it or not. They're not the creme de la creme of uh, the polit political debating scene. And all they ever end up doing is reducing heat, is, is the same sort of thing trolls do. It's okay, don't worry, you're not going to win. And one of the reasons they're not going to win, ladies and gentlemen, is I wanted to, I wanted to share with you um, something about the BMP. What I'm about to present to you is a genuine policy the BMP have said that they intend to implement. Nick Griffin, the current leader, he's the guy, he's the Welsh bloke with the wonky eye who looks like sloth from the Goonies in a wig, who, who is the leader of the BMP. And he took over in 1999. One of his main priorities, or one of his main objectives, was to make the BMP a, into a more moderate nationalist party. They're moderate nationalists. Who wants moderate nationalists? You can't be a moderate nationalist. That's like being a sort of pacifist football hooligan, or a celibate rapist. I reckon I could give a blind monkey with no arms, you know, ten minutes to come up with a better policy, a policy that would be more economically viable, if I just filled his arsehole with ink and got him to shit it out onto a piece of paper. Now, one of the things the BMP had in place was forced repatriation. That is, any British citizens or people living in the country who were of non-native origin, i.e. not white, or any non-native born white people, i.e. Polish plumbers and stuff like that, would be forced to leave. Unfortunately, they couldn't really do that. So Nick Griffin, genius, right, came up with an idea of voluntary repatriation, where people would be, you know, offered the chance to go back, and it would be their choice to take it. Now, let me just give you some perspective. The, Brit the uh, population of the, uh, Britain is 62,041,708. That's a Eurostat estimate. The amount of immigrants in the country now is 5,408,000. Right? Now, that's just immigrants at the moment. Right? This doesn't include people who are like second, third, or fourth generation. So the figure would actually be higher than this. right? Now. The policy is this, they would actually be, not only would they be asked or, you know, or given the opportunity to return to their country of origin, they would be paid a sum of money that they could use to bugger off. The amount of money scrounging welfare, drug addict, you know, lazy, work shy darkies would be offered is £50,000 each. £50,000 each. What this means is, one of the uh, 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 costs that the BMP has got to have in its budget is £50,000 for any immigrant out of the 5,408,000 who choose to go home. Now, if I was an immigrant or a non-white person in this country and the BMP were in power, I'd be jumping on my fucking flight. I would be, give me a pogo stick, a space hopper, I'll sit on a, I'll sit on an ant farm, carry me anywhere, right? I'll crawl over... You know, you know, broken glass with my nuts hanging out, right? Get me out of here. I'll take the fifth grade. So we're gonna, I'm going to assume, that, and not just, not just the immigrants themselves, I imagine there's going to be a few dodgy fucking British people trying that. I, for one, am planning on getting myself a full-body tattoo of brown skin and then, you know, growing my hair in dreadlocks and calling myself Joaquin, right? If we extrapolate this out, that means the potential and likely a sum of money that the BMP will have to pay out of British, white British taxpayers' money, is 270 billion, 400 million pounds, just to get rid of about, five, about 6 million people. That's before you try and pay the country, you've got to pay the country's off to. 270 billion. Now, that is four fifths, fifths of a year in Iraq, in one go. 270 billion. Tobacco taxes in this country only make 9 billion a year. So that's 30 years worth of tobacco tax. Just to get rid of a load of bloody non 
ethnically non-indigenous ethnic minorities, you know, scumbags, fucking terrorists and crack dealers and get and gangsters and stuff, out of white British people's money, right? The fifty-six million six hundred thirty-three thousand seven hundred eight British people who would be left over, right? Man, woman, and child from age naught to dead, right? Or just before dead, right? It, that's that's four thousand seven hundred and seventy-four pounds fifty-four pence each. I don't know about you. I've come to the conclusion that this, I've been wrong about the BMP. They're not. They're not. They're they're, they're racist, but they're not racist against you know against non-whites or non-British people. They clearly hate Brit white people. How can you have you ever heard of a bigger a government doing a bigger gesture or a more you know, talk about affirmative action talk about you know talk about doing a favor giving priority giving special treatment and you know white people can't apply for this white british people we got no choice now knowing this if i was an immigrant i would be let's vote now get the bmp in now you know come on guys we'll do it so, ladies and gentlemen, if you still needed a reason to not vote for the BMP, 270 billion of them are right here. Nick Griffin, you are an economic spastic. I would rather have UKIP. It's Richard E. Cotton, 66. Good night, may God be less. And let's all laugh at the BMP. <laughs>